Story now about two Coastal Bend communities that were devastated by Hurricane Harvey. But today, Woodsboro and Refurio are another step closer to recovery. Thanks to some grant money, those towns now have new homes for their volunteer fire departments. I, Rudy Trevino reports. We got a grant from Rebuild Texas of $187,000. $172,000 from Rebuild Texas. Two very happy mayors of Coastal Bend communities, Refugio and Woodsboro, both grateful for the funds that were used to build temporary housing for their respective volunteer fire department's fire engines. Finally, we have something that we can show the community that we are doing something because a lot of them are getting, you know, discouraged. One, two, three. Both communities celebrated the opening of the structures with ribbon cuttings, symbolizing at least one more phase of reconstruction. Well, ever since the storm, we've just been in an uproar because we took the roof off the station, never, all of our equipment in there got destroyed, all of our bunker gear, um, air packs, all that. While the two three bay structures are appreciated by residents, there was a mutual statement by most there. Still, lots more to do. County wide, we probably have uh, in the neighborhood of 80 projects that still trying to put a funding strategy together to fund these projects and so we can bring back some recovery. A drive through Woodsboro neighborhood shows tarps still cover roofs, homes and businesses in disrepair. And today, that town's mayor says it could be a very long time before they fully recover. I've been back and forth to Austin several times and th they're saying five to seven years. And since we're already into two, it's looking more like seven to 10 years, um, especially for rural communities like ourselves because the funding's not there. But thanks to organizations like Rebuild Texas, communities such as Refugio and Woodsboro are seeing progress. Thanks to the Michael and Susan Dell Foundation who are part of Rebuild Texas, the philanthropy will continue. We're working on projects in Rockport, um, the Aransas Pass Water Tower. So we've got a, a lot of projects going in and around the coastal bend that we're really excited about. Rudy Trevino, 3 News.